Hey you guys, remember me? It's that channel you're subscribed to, and if you're not subscribed, it's a great chance to go ahead and do that so you didn't make me lie in one of my own videos, you jerk. It's a box here, and it says bricks in it because that's what's in it, bricks in it, or in it. I said in my last review one that it was the April box. I think this is the April box because social media told me that they'd shipped all their April boxes, and then shortly after... We got this one. So the last one was maybe March. I'm not going to change the title of the video. I'm just going to keep this video's title the exact same as that one, just to avoid any confusion. But you're like, what, are, what do we get in here? Well, as you can see, it's already cut open. And um, if you if you paid attention from my last video, I don't buy these for me, actually. I buy them for my girlfriend, who also likes Lego. And the issue with that is, underneath here is the building techniques and the member handbook. We'll, we'll take a look at those, I hope to remember. Um, everything's empty, though, is the is what I was getting at. Everything's empty in here, all the bags. Well, that's not true. This is the minifigure accessory pack, and it's kind of kind of good stuff. Some fire, uh, life vests and such, an extra body, and a, a full guy, so that's good. The, the minifigure it comes with, which I don't think it's that one, is... That one over over there is this one here. It's a blind bag one. I I think I might save that for blind bag Friday though, because um, I don't have any of those in the blind bag bag. But anyways, these are these are the nice bags from last time. Um, I think last time they were they're still gusseted, but I think last time they were marked basic and advanced or something or special bricks or whatever they were, and they're not this time. Which yeah, kind of doesn't exactly matter. They're slightly different sizes though, so I don't know if that indicates anything this one i think so this is this is a fun one um I've, I've i've looked up bags before and i've mentioned this and i actually briefly um talked to dan the guy that puts these together about um bags but uh this one is a this is a food storage bag um, is what they're intended for and you're supposed to make like trail mix or something and you stick a label on it And you can tell that because there's actually a tear um, section here and What you would do is you would then use a heat sh uh, Sealer and seal that bag and then it sits up nicely on a shelf when it's full because of the gusset and I can set it here, I guess it's a little light, but anyways, it stands up by itself. It's sealed, so you don't have to worry about it, like, getting open and tasted. And then when they're ready, they just peel the that, and it'll cut it under the heat seal, and then you have the, the bag to use. So, anyways, that's a nice, thick bag. Um, I appreciate his choice in bags. I've already said that before. This one's just a standard gusseted one. Um, it may have... It may have had the tear bit removed, but you're not here to see me review bags. Too bad there's another bag. So this one is a, a smaller size one, and it is again, it's um, it's gusseted. But this was the challenge. There's 115 pieces that were in this one, and it's a uh, melting forest, and there's like a snow globe, um, and it's it's building techniques page one to get details about that so why don't we transition into that because all this is kind of a mess oh well let's before we transition to the building concept there was a um teen groot keychain there is still in here um but it was sealed when we got it when she got it so cute anyways let's let's look at the um Let's look at the building techniques because that's the one we mentioned. So, still a nice, high quality piece of paper here. It's um, it is stapled once, which is appropriate for a booklet this size. So, um, ready for a challenge? Rules: use as many elements as you like from the challenge, which includes this month's piece pack from the challenge. Uh, maybe I'm just reading it wrong. Uh, submit your creations by email at hello at bricksinit.com or share your build online, hashtag bricksinit. Void where prohibited, prizes to be announced, email hello at bricksinit.com for more information. Pretty pretty good stuff. Um, this piece pack is brought to you by Flower Stems, and it goes through a crazy little cactus. Um, I vaguely flipped through this. 
So there's a history, which that's pretty cool. And then it tells you the stud dimensions here and like, you know, what kind of connections. And it's kind of, it's, it's cute because, um, that's, that's just fun information that someone had to research, which is, is good. The Travis brick or the super Erling they make reference to, which, you know, you're going to make a tree here and it's, I don't know. Hmm. I don't think so. Can say, are all these pieces included in here? Eh, a selection of them are. Eh, you could maybe make a tree. I don't know if you'd quite make the exact tree that they're showing here, but these are pretty common parts. You probably have some of them or something similar. Uh, in case you weren't a fan of the flower stem by now, uh, how about a life-sized one? This guy made them, and it tells you about that. That's cute. That's cute. Uh, micro trees, a lot of them use flowers. No, I guess just the one there uses them, but still. Jordan made those. Here's a last month's technique. Yeah. Kind of cool. Um, exploring dark things. Oh, that's cool. That's um, it's Iron Giant. Hmm. Brixinit. Help at Brixinit.com. Um... What if I go through the member handbook? So this one opens topwards, and again, two staples. Yeah, I'm looking at I'm looking at two staples there. I don't know about you. Yeah, two. Uh, welcome to the club, members handbook. Build more, build better. And then, dear member, um, Dan, Dan A. He's uh, he seems like a good guy. He's trying to spread creativity and such. Assorted elements figure. And accessories, so that's the blind bag and the accessories, which include another figure. A piece pack and the build challenge. Mm-hmm. Because I got the build box, which is like the low one. But still, still good. Fellow members, build bigger. And how it works, you're in control. Close enough. Uh, thank you, so that's good. And then... What? Gift, share, earn, and enjoy. Don't hold back about sharing the club. We'll make it worth your while. Get rewarded. Earn $5 credit towards your next purchase for every friend you bring to the club. Oh my gosh. Give a gift. We have single and multi-month gift memberships for all occasions. Huh. Um, so check my comment section and the description for the way to, to, to join that if I can figure it out. Because I'm going to get free boxes if you guys buy boxes. So, what about the actual pieces? You're, we're like eight minutes into the video and we have saw like just a handful of pieces. Well, um, let's, um, that's the rest of the team group. So let's go ahead and just, um, I'm going to dump them out here. That's, that's nice. <clears throat> so, pieces. This is a little thing that was built um, with the pieces in here. I don't know. It's kind of... It's nice looking. The gold piece is nice to get. These little clear pieces were part of the challenge, I believe. Little clear wedges. Oh, that's a good piece. I like that. That's the, um, is that the spring green, I think. Cause, yeah, it looks brighter. And it's a big old block. I like getting those big blocks. Hey, some... some Two by fours. I like, I like getting big pieces. I don't use them for much, but I like getting them. This one's this one's nice. Nice big slope. Nice big slope over here. Here's some tree pieces that have been or uh, plant pieces that have been put together to make a little tree baby. Oh, timber. There's another big old brick. Hmm. Taking apart some of these things. Oh, look at that. I've never seen that before. Leave in the comments what that is. That's that's weird. It's like a two by six, but the corners are rounded on two of the four sides. Oh, a blaster bolt. I like these blaster bolts a lot. I, I only have a couple blasters. I'd like to get those in some opaque colors like black and, and brown, but I'm gonna I'm gonna work on that personally. There's a good assortment of Technic bricks this this month. So there's there's like a big old Technic beam, some modified Technic Lego bits. That's a Brickheads brick, I think is what people are calling that. There's several of those. Look at that now that I'm looking at them. A couple of those boys. Um, oh, so I did this 
So it was left out on the uh, the dining room table, the whole box everywhere. Oh, no. You know what that means? Well, you, you can't exactly see it. Yeah, it's it's flashing colors. So we're getting close to the we're over the 10 minute mark at this point. Yeah. Oh, well. Um, sorry, guys. That's that's all the time I have for today, but I'm sure you'll you'll be OK with that overlook of all these great parts that we got in here. Comment your favorite part. Remember to subscribe if you're not subscribed. Notification thingies. Click on the other videos that I'm going to have. Uh, one over here-ish for Windmill Dragon. Uh, that pile of bricks looks like a good place to subscribe. Just subscribe on my guy. And then over here on the blind bag will be a link to something. So that's enough stuff from us. Thanks for watching, people. And um, tune in for the next Bricks in It review.